under and over. Make sure everybody well coated in a little juice, yeah? Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. I your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. <clears throat> if you're new right on over here, let me say a special welcome to you. Thank you so very much. Those of, those of you who were there with me from the beginning and you're still here, manners and respect. <clears throat> now this morning, this is Sunday morning in Jamaica, yeah? Sunday morning in Jamaica. I'm going to be sharing with you a real, it is a real loved breakfast idea. And I'm throwing it out to you. You can have it for your Christmas morning breakfast table. Also, you can use it for dinner. Some people use it. We use it for dinner a lot in Jamaica. Most of all, on a Sunday morning, we use it for breakfast. Restaurants, the biggest high-class quality restaurant in Jamaica, our five-star, they use it. I'm introducing today and to, to you today and I'm going to share with you how to do salt mackerel, green bananas and Jamaican saffron. So salt mackerel is the protein and we're going to be using green bananas and saffron. Renta, this is a renta, okay? Now, I have here three salt mackerels and they all weighed one and a half pound. Now, I have soaked this mackerel overnight yes and i woke up during the night threw off that water because this, this is the second water now i'm gonna throw this water out okay so when i throw it out i want to show you all something and you also to bear in mind that this salt mackerel it has you know it carries a, a very high smell you want to select a salt mackerel that when you open it it's red on the inside you have some of them with white on the inside if you try to avoid those because them not the taste so nice to me that is to me which one do you choose always choose the ones that has a red this is like it is quite evident that this one has gone through the right pickling process with the salt peter and all of them something so try remember to choose this one they give you a better dish then you enjoy it more so now that we have it what we are gonna do it this is properly um a lot of the salt has been come out of the steam. What I want to show you right now is this. Back in the days when I was going and growing with my mother, I am not sure if I take that from her. You would have to wash your salt mackerel. You'd have to open a lime or a sour orange. All of you Jamaicans, when you want me a chat about, please comment. You should have to use a lime or a sour orange and she would wash the in and the outer for salt mackerel like this and get off all of them here if you don't do it like this she would never eat it from you well me not gonna lie me not really do it so i'm just sharing this with you me not really do it so all the while but if she was alive and she saw me and she was and she was around and she said me prepare me salt mackerel i'm gonna wash it to the line she would never eat it from me i would have to wash it with the line but me not gonna lie me not really do that do you do that just sharing this with you she would always use the lime and she said the lime take off them scum so what i'm gonna do now let me get my hands wash because remember this thing you know each time you go through with it you have to wash your hand in a closet have a you know a really smelly high smell all right so what i'm gonna be doing off camera i'm gonna be finished washing off the rest of these salt mackerel and clean out the little scumminess according to what my mother said out of it right on over here i've got two pots being preheated one for the salt mackerel one for the banana and one for the yam. So you want to use two pots, two different pots. You can use one too, but if you do this for the first, try just use one. Cause you know, it kind of like a waste. I'm going to put my little salt in and my little pot them. One for bananas, one for salt mackerel. So I'll leave them because they must come to a boil before anything go in. Right here I have my kettle boil that in case when we're ready now we need the extra water when you put in the banana and the food okay you know sometimes you misjudge the water and then you need a little more i have hot water we have a little something over here so but this i'm not gonna be highlighting this these are just some dumplings 
So I'm not going to really highlight the dumpling. I'm just highlighting the soft yam and the green bananas with the mackerel. So I have my kettle boil that in case I need extra water. So I'm going to go now off camera. Finish wash off my mackerel. So by the time I finish wash off my mackerel, my pot them will start a boil and ready for the banana and the soft yam. So when we return, I show you how you put in the banana yam deal with the soft yam whilst we prepare my mackerel. Because I'm going to be scalding off this mackerel only once. Because I have it as soap and change the water two different times. So I think it's good. So when we return, you're going to see how I'm going to deal with things. Trying to help you to bring you along how you multitask to get this Jamaican so loved breakfast. Salt mackerel, green banana, boiled green bananas and soft yam done. In an easy little way, quite efficient, soon come. Okay now family, so I peel my piece of soft yam and you see what happens. This is what happens with some of them. It is oxidizing. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a piece of lime. I've washed it already though, you know. And I'm gonna rub it with the lime juice. So it looks like a pure lime pan this a journey and this morning family. And then I'm gonna just come to my pot. You can slice your own outside of the pot. When you reach this stage, when you reach this stage, stage where you can angle yourself like me, you can do it like this. So you make sure so the water is boiling and you have it down in there. You don't want to cut it too thin and you don't want to cut it too, too thick. Mm? So, we have it down in the water. When you come up here, so up here, so it's supposed to be like the part that is waxy. You just cut it straight through like this because it's a different type of cooking. So now we salt the pot already and we have it in the water. We're gonna leave it to boil. Now this is the pot for the green bananas. So we are gonna go now, get our green bananas all washed off and come back and maybe show you how you deal with the green banana then. Eh? Cause you know them oxidized too, you know, yeah? Okay now family, we are back. So look at this now, my mackerel over here. I'm gonna leave it to come to a boil. I boil it out now. Remember, I'm gonna soak out some of the salt. And I'm gonna boil. As soon as it starts boiling, a minute the longest I need to remove it and throw off this water, leave it into some cold water. You don't boil this for another 10 to 15 minutes whilst it absorbs the, 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 the salt where you try to get out, it has put it back in it. So as it's within a minute, the latest are uh, some seconds. Remove it, throw out that water, fresh cold water. So that that happen. And see the little bad breed yam them in the pot. They can see them have some bad breed band, but we still a try with them. Like a some raccoon renter. You know nothing about the raccoon renter. If you are Jamaican, even if you are far now, you are and go a country. And you know about raccoon renter. Please comment. This is a real thing. Real Jamaican kitchen. Right on over here. Now we are got the banana water over there. And you have to put the banana them in the cold water. You know, the water must be boiling. This is the Jamaican style. So. You'd want to do this. If you want to use our gloves, but me not use no gloves. Me not think, nowadays people use gloves. The gloves don't work for me. So what we will do, okay, that drop. Let me get right in your face so that you can see it. You don't just take off by the head of the banana, the top and the bottom and right on the edge here. You don't put it in between. It's easier to get it on the, on, on the edge. You pour it, but be careful. Don't go too deep. So... So you have your water, some people do it under the pipe with another container. So you remove the skin like this and if there is any little greenness on the skin, don't use the cut part. This back part, you just give it a little scrape to get off the little extra green. You're going to go back again. One more, I'm going to show you. Cut it right there. You cut it right down here. Right on right here. Right this outer part here where there is this seam. Let's call it a seam. Don't go too deep. And you're pretty. And look at this banana. You can see that they're not so bad breed, you know. You see, I put them in the water and they're not oxidized. They may lose that. You know, the banana oxidization, it varies. It depends on the nature of the banana. So look here. I'm going to go away now. And I'm going to um, finish peel off my banana. It's a dozen. Come back and show you. I put it in the boiling water. So come back, eh? Okay, now family, bananas all fully peeled. And you can see them just slightly oxidized. I'm going to have them down in this water. And these bananas look like they might not be used now, lime juice. Because let me tell you, as I said before, it depends on the nature of the green banana. Some of them oxidize fast, 
some don't some of them you have to put a little lime juice in the water some you don't have to so look here um, and you put in try to put in all of them at once so them can cook evenly so look here the salt mackerel over here so if this barely have one with that thing it's soon ready for chew up see one one for the young them yeah they look like them one like them walk list and have one some of us have them at a piece they have one and they have some real ratoon you notice them not white and all of that but we still have panka panka with them those are what happens when you have no control over the food hmm? you don't know and this might happen to you so it will because remember we've squeezed lime in there and you see them are going up we have a banana over there we are watching if it are fully oxidized when we return yeah go see what we're there eh? so okay now family we are back and you definitely see so we are gonna need a little lime juice so we squeeze the lime juice in there and we're leaving it at that you notice everything start turning clean and clear back again so we're gonna have another stand the safi and them and quite them have a real terrible time but we still have one but mackerel start to boil right here so we're gonna move it now and we're gonna throw this water out leave it in some cool water if you have ice you can use it yeah and we have a cooler so we'll take it off and as soon as you remove it from the the the, the, the eat you're gonna pour it out don't leave it in this water we're gonna pour it put some cool water on it so you see when you see us next we're gonna be have our mackerel all picked up and we're gonna show you how we proceed to fix up the salt mackerel eh? okay family this is where we reach you see me safi i'm them i am renta them and them half cooked so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna turn off the heat under them i don't want them mash out i'm just gonna turn the heat off and leave them and them is not success so them's like a bad breed renter but we're still gonna have them right over here see me have my bananas i'm just drop make sure i just drop the lime skin in it and it had take time one i had too much water so i took out a little of it so you can turn down the 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 the, the, the level of the flame now and you have to watch them because you can't see them banana and really back you know so you have to turn down and watch it as you go along you see them start boil so them are simmered right now so the banana them good yeah bad breed renter they right yes so and it have one you know but we will work around that eh? all right now we have the salt mackerel right over here so look here me it cool right down now so what you're gonna need to do you're gonna break it up in some pieces and you're gonna remove you're not gonna be able to remove all the bones no you will not but you must try to remove most of the bones so when you pick at this piece you find these little bones and you just pick them out right along here you try as much as possible and you want to break it in pieces like this you don't want to break it too small so, people sometimes them like them look about salt mackerel and it just them just mince it up when you eat something you can't taste a good piece of salt mackerel how do you break up your salt mackerel what size pieces do you break it into we're gonna go now i'm gonna break up mine in a pieces like this are a little bigger and when we return we are gonna have my salt mackerel all picked up so my whole of tomato onion scotch bonnet garlic and i'm gonna use a little piece of fresh thyme scallions and some i'm substituting some crushed pimento powder for black pepper today so when we return all of this are done i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna cook up the mackerel soon come okay now family see me all prepped and ready to go here yeah? so i'm gonna pick up my mackerel i'm gonna just use like one or two pieces of the head they can be like the head and if anybody in your family like it you can do it i'm gonna like the little part here too with the bones so me always leave these two little pieces don't leave a lot of the head the head has a bitterish taste in it unless some people like it you know all like that so i have my scallions and my um, garlic so i'm gonna put them in first hello we're not looking friend from these we're looking flavor so we are put them in at the oil and please do not let them burn now for all the people the oil police them you have to have some oil in this thing you see because as soon as you start to put in the rest of stuff it's gonna suck it up and you need to have a little something when it's finished but you can't have a little thing you want to have it all dry and when you're ready to dip your dumpling and you dip your banana you can't find a lot of juice there not that all. so you have to start with little oil here yeah? so we want to flavor up this um this thing inside here did we look at the bananas did we come our girl we don't look at it yet so let, let's look at our bananas over here yeah them are going them ready for row them look good go watch pan them or Christmas over here so no sir now go on so good but then can't eat we soon get to them okay so we have the garlic and we have the scallions in here flavoring the oil we don't want them go on till them start burn and i go on and that all the things you know so at this point we are going to put in the bag of tomato because we want that tomato there 
for the something. We want the tomato for the mackerel. So remember now, you have to use according to the amount of mackerel, the amount of tomatoes and onions and all of that you have got to use to soup your mackerel. We had one and a half pound and when we deep bone and sit, we have this. So look here, when you look at the ratio, you realize how the thing looks like it has a out, eh? So look at this now. You have your tomatoes them inside here. Look, you see the aisle turn red, so you know so you want enough tomatoes to make the aisle get red and all of them something there. Okay? Now you have to be stirring around because you have the garlic and the skeleton in there. But at this point, it has got kind of small chance of burning because the tomato gone down in there with some extra juice to kind of jack up the pot bottom so it won't thing there. Now at this point, these are the little bit, the little people where you put in. Now some people have problems with onions while cutting them up. I don't have problems with my onions. I always, when I get my onions, I take out the outer strip. You know, it have a whole patch or something, take out the outer trash where you know everybody will then I will pull up. And I always put them in a bag and keep them in the refrigerator. That way when you're cutting them, they don't burn your eyes. Or you could put them in some water after stripping them ice water and then you can cut them. Now look at this. You see, I was telling you, you need a reasonable amount of oil in there. Okay, now we are going to leave this to cook down. We are going to make it stew down a little bit. We are going to put down with we eat to about medium. Whilst we cover this spot. We don't want to start now and stop something. You know. If you want a little, some um, bell pepper, some people have put some bell pepper. But if you want, you can put and you can go easy. Because they say they put too much of the bell pepper. It will take away the flavor of the salt mackerel. We want to taste the salt mackerel, you know, mama. Yeah, so look at this one more time. See? I let them here come down together. I feel pretty already. And mackerel not eat. Mackerel not eat roll down there. So yeah. All right. Now, right on over here, we have our salt mackerel. We're going to need a little vinegar. <coughs> this looks like it. No, so no. So I'm going to be using like some lime juice to mix with the vinegar. So if you don't have enough vinegar. Apple cider would be good right here too, you know. Apple cider would even be better. I see some of them white one, yeah? Them not make it nowadays. And I'm going to be using a little pimento powder to substitute black pepper. Why? I have black pepper, but the pimento powder gives it a little bit and keep it to me. What do you think? Have you ever tried pimento powder and your salt mackerel? Try it. Now we have this beautiful little boy here. It's not supposed to be a toy. It's supposed to be a real efficient, pretty yes, and pretty. But okay, let me tell you something about some of these peppers. They get pretty and nice, and they want intimidate you like they at and guess what? Them not at. Some of them walk. This is a shame. So look here, make me test this. So we may go cut it in a two right here. So. Same thing me tell you. It not going with nothing. So me I'll put that part here with the seed. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it not ready because the salt mackerel taste of pepper, you know. You know? So we are gonna put this in there. So do to the to your family liking. If you don't want any, don't put any. But honest to God, me feel like me want some. And me think we could have put the whole of this, but me I got chill. Okay? Let's go right in here. Cause this thing don't take long to put together, you know. Alright. Now that we turn it down. You see, it started steaming. So the pepper, um, the, the, the scallion, and the garlic, then can burn again. Wow, this is so pretty. Let us get our flame up back a little. And we're going to put in. Now is the time for the salt mackerel. Mm -hmm. We're going to be putting in right now the um, vinegar. You can't look about this thing, your family, without vinegar. You have to have some vinegar. And this did still want to come more because it's in a reasonable amount. And as I told you, you could use the apple cider, like a te tablespoon for apple, 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 apple cider for this. If it is white, two tablespoons. So I'm going to put now a little lime juice to make up my vinegar. I mean, no, it never enough. Wow. You see, from the vinegar, touch it, family. If on a smell, I come out of the pot. Hey, how oh, did you do, please? I put in the pepper now. And don't go a lot on the pimento powder because it kind of like a strong you know. It now works, please. So, flame up. And you know, we have to do that something here. Over and under. Or under and over. So, I call me, I get to work, please. Too. Under and over. Make sure everybody well coated in a little juice, yeah? Mm hmm. All them tomato and them onion and them something. 
Make everybody get gel done. Remember, I told you you had to start with a little oil to get this nice juice right down now to low, almost to low. Covering it for another five to seven minutes. Let it simmer. When we return, I'm gonna plate you up some salt mackerel and boiled bananas. Soon come. Okay, now fam. So see, the boy, them are going. Them look like them can go around. So me take out some. You must remember to take out your bananas and let them be properly drained before you put in your protein type. You know, want out the banana water there when the mackerel cover the nice little juice. Them did they run up and down and a double double up and cause me aiming at the plate. No. But we go right in. We covered it. After we turn it off, we left it. So we could go down with it. But because we are going down in that they sit in there because if supposed to go and go, you know. Let's remove our times and nothing around. You can use your hand for your pot and for your mackerel and same thing. You know, I forgot to use left move and search your tongue. I forgot to use it, move the two pieces at time. Nothing I got so. Real kitchen we are run. So look here, before me even start dish. You see the onions them? You see the mackerel? You see the tomato? You saw everybody does a double double up? You see the juice? You see the juice? You know, one open hat. You see the juice? So that, listen to me. That is the juice that came from the tomato with the oil. Look at it. You see the juice, mama? You see the juice, mama? I know you did. So, let me start look for a beautiful handful of this mackerel business here. We put with them banana here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you see, you saw the mackerel pretty. That's why I said to you, use the red ones. Choose the red ones. Not no wrong if a piece of mackerel go and get near your plate and make sure it's a piece of sitting here prims up the um what is looking um but i'm sitting there scotch bonnet yeah this is a beautiful little serving but we look now we're gonna see what i go on with the key list the work list so here i'm running as a presentation so you see the juice the type of juice what's supposed to be running on the bananas this is the juice make we look on the yam here all right i put it around the back see in, in come one little we ain't nice so hot but that piece here can go on our road. But I'm not going to put in a phone plate. I'm going to put in a phone because I'm not sure how much you're not going to want it. Okay. And like how oh, you never get no yam. We might just remove one of your banana, put it in a farmy plate, and give you one of the dumplings. We never I like the dumplings, but I have enough um, something up on the channel that shows you how to prepare your dumplings. You want this dumpling for drain off, you know. Don't put it in there with the water drip. So right over here, we can put a little dumpling around this. So dumpling watchman around this. So yeah. So we can set it good in the plate, you know. The watchman, I know watchman. We have to present it. So look at this. I can fix them now, now yeah. Yup. Let me present to you. From my kitchen to yours. From my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your Christmas morning breakfast table, and even to a Sunday morning breakfast. To your stomach and to your palate, most of all, it is um, salt mackerel, green bananas, but the yam get wokly, so we substitute dumpling. Please do enjoy. Remember, like, share, subscribe, leave your comments below, principled and decent. And you've got to look right here again once more. Post notification shout out today goes to, we will write that down there for you. We can't remember it right now. Too much food and we had gone up in other food. Remember to like, share, subscribe, leave your comments below. Have you ever done this dish? If you're a Jamaican, uh, if you're not a Jamaican, you're not sweet, you know, you can't say, you're Jamaican, I never put this in, I can't ever Jamaican put this in. If you're abroad and your husband or your wife is a Jamaican and they ask, ask for this and you try to do it and it never work out, what have I done today? Have I highlighted anything? Have I done anything in this video that will help you? If so, comment. Remember to like, share, subscribe, most of all. Please, when you do it, please to cook happily and to eat happily. Debbie from the Royal, bless, no stress. I'm going to start out. She said I work less right now.